Richard Comey knocked down. Wow. Dude, the stanky leg. Oh, he is hurt. Yeah, he's yeah, he he's messed hurt. up. Wow. In the second round, Tifa Lopez is about to maybe ascend Ooh. to the top of the lightweight division Body and kick. earn his shot at Lomachenko right here. Comey is hurt. Lopez is swarming him. Left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook. This fight could be over. Yeah. This fight looks done. Stepping in. This yep, fight, fight's over. over. Oh, my God. Tiafimo Lopez winning in the second round via KO, TKO, uh, against Richard Comey. And, I mean, again, picks up an IBF belt, picks up the shot against Lomachenko, and instantly catapults himself within the top two or three of the division instantly. I mean. Jesus Christ, Faber just got murked. I mean. Head th- kick. Th- th- this is. I mean, what what a performance from T from Lopez. He is all over the ring right now. Ecstatic. Wow. I Good mean Lord. <laughs> Lomachenko versus T from Lopez. I mean, that is a, a intriguing fight under the top rank banner that's gonna happen next. And I mean Lopez's power really showing just to be another level in this fight. Wow, I am I am blown away. I am just completely blown away here. Um, I mean, and I know you're not a boxing guy, but Richard Comey is a guy that went to war all 12 rounds with Robert Easter, all 12 rounds with Dennis Shafikov, two guys that are perennial top five opponents. And Tifa Lopez is a guy that's largely been untested in his run at 22 years old, I think, or 21 years old. Blast him out in two rounds. And now he's automatically guaranteed the shot against Lomachenko now in unification. I mean, thoughts? Um, I, I tell you, it, it's always something to see. And I, and I think this is a very interesting parallel right now with what Peter Yan just did to Uriah Faber. And which we're going to get to in a second. Yeah. Yes. To have, to have guys who are, you know, somewhat untested, um, guys who, who haven't gotten a, a certain level of respect uh, relative to, to their potential. And then, you know, these tests that they have, and they just blow them out the water. I mean, and blow them out. It, like, it, it lets you know shit is real. <laughs> it, it is very, very real. And then all of a sudden you see this new generation just all of a sudden just, boom, appear on the scene in a way. Even though when we've been watching them for a, t- uh, a while, these are those breakout moments. And this was clearly a breakout moment for T.F.M. Lopez here on, e- on main ESPN after the Heisman Trophy ceremony. On the Terrence Crawford card, I mean, this is huge for him. I mean, I am I am literally in shock here, guys. Call in 323-870-4051. Press 1 to get in the queue. International callers calling on Skype. Mixed Combat Radio. We know that since both fights were relatively early stoppages, uh, we're going to get some filler here, so we can definitely take some calls in before the next fights. Um, but Lomachenko, T. from Lopez, served my early prediction and thoughts. I don't know here, guys. I mean, we saw that guys like Pedraza, guys like even Campbell with size, with length, uh, with ath- even like some level of athleticism gave Loma issues at 135 because maybe he has sort of topped out size-wise at 135. Lopez is a giant lightweight who is starting out in this division. He's young. He's a giant athlete. And on top of that, he has giant power, great skills. I I'll be honest. I mean, I could definitely see the argument for Tifa Lopez beating Lomachenko next year. I don't think that's out of the question right now. There there does seem to be a momentum shift slightly. Yeah, you know? yeah, and I I think something uh, can be said about uh, granted Lomachenko still out there smoking dudes. Yeah, still doing great. But it's less smoking dudes than it was was at 130 or 126 yes it it, it definitely seems to be like the gap is closing between what he can do to to his opponents you know and that that level of like matrix greatness that everyone talks about relative to his name agreed agreed and great show of uh, sportsmanship between uh the camps of lopez and comey um because there was a brief moment as lopez was going crazy in the ring that he kind of jumped in and brushed comey who's still recovering I think sort of wanted to show that wasn't any sort of disrespect. Um, let's go to Santiago quickly to get his thoughts on Comey Lopez, and then we're going to talk about Jan Faber. Um, Santi, let's go to you. 
over there in the LA area. Santiago, what's up? That's one way to pick yourself off the bed at that point. That was hands down not what I expected to see. I honestly thought we'd see a little bit of adversary because it's not like Comey shot. It's not like Comey's skills are overrated. So for him to go out and do what he did in that kind of fashion for Lopez, damn, man, and only 22 years old, IVF champion, you know, like it's going to be fascinating now with him in, in the picture and, like, from what I can see, his mindset being clear now, like no, none of the family drama or anything that seemed to have been a hindrance in his last fight. And think about this. Imagine a possibility or a world where all of a sudden Lopez beats Lomachenko and top rank and ESPN has a young Latino champion at the age of 22, 23 years old that's just being Lomachenko and Richard Comey. Like you have a bona fide star in, in the making that... Maybe Lomachenko was a star, but, I mean, Lopez could be even a bigger star if he's somehow able to beat Lomachenko. Um, you know, thoughts on, you know, the potential Lomachenko-Lopez fight and, you know, what that could mean for Lopez, Santi? I think if they make the fight, I think it's a good fight. I think it's a fight that Lopez could win. I've said it before, like, when we've had these conversations of, like, guys like Mikey, guys like Lomachenko... Uh, where do they cap, you know, and I've always said that at 135, uh, Lomachenko is effectively mortal now, and as you've already say, it stated previously, he's a big-ass, you know, guy for that division, Lopez is, so I think that he may face his first real adverse adversity in Lomachenko, but he's young, he's going to have size on his, on his, on his edge, and I could easily see that being like, you, welcome to the club, uh, you know, Lopez, with him being the next guy to probably unify in that division. 